Hello everyone, uh, welcome to my live stream. Uh, today uh, we're gonna do a bunch of stuff, but first of all, I'm I hope you're doing you're doing great. Uh, so yeah, uh, an idea for today is to deviate a bit from the uh, I not not deviate like uh, not uh, stop doing uh, query modules for now and uh, swap to uh, rust client i mean we're gonna still stay uh, on the on the rust side but uh, but yeah uh, today an idea is to finish at least fix uh, some of the stuff on the rust client uh, because uh, in the meantime we changed the underlying mg client and uh, it uh, some changes in the in the rust client code are required to be able to run and use the latest version of mg client uh yeah so uh today i'm limited with time so i think i'm gonna spend around 45 minutes on on doing that at least try to uh, run some basic stuff at least to try to run the example uh that uh, it's there uh, and yeah uh, hopefully we're gonna learn a bunch of stuff about rust again um uh, as usual, if you like this content, please share, like, like, and subscribe. Uh, and uh, and yeah, let's get started. Uh, I'll swap to my code view. Uh, everything is working. Yeah, if you have any comments or anything uh, to add, suggest, please do that in the comments. Uh, happy to happy to discuss that uh yeah uh i've also changed a couple of things in the I, I changed a bit the color scheme i hope i got a feedback that this uh the red color is not so visible but i'm not sure uh i'm not sure is if it's visible again uh i'll check the check the the i cannot see that immediately uh on the on the on the stream so yeah uh we'll see about that how that will that will work all right mm, so uh first of all uh let's get uh let's get started somehow uh github rsmg client so in order to run queries against uh memgraph uh you need a library and uh, rsmg client is a rust client uh, that basically uh, simplifies running queries against memgraph but, but yeah it's based on the mg client that's like a c client uh, it's it's a wrapper around that that client uh, and the code to execute queries looks like uh, like this so um, basically you have to make a connection, then you can execute a query, and then you can fetch the results. Uh, so yeah, uh, this let's try it and run run that. Uh, so I I already did some basic stuff to uh, change the code and to compile the latest version of MG client. Uh, so that's all good, uh, but uh, the client fails. So uh, but just so fire. Um, so I added uh, an alias for. Uh, let me just go a bit here. I've added an alias uh, for running memgraph. Uh, basically, whenever I I uh, type fire in the terminal, uh, that will start memgraph. Uh, and yeah, uh, just FYI. So I'll go back here and run fire so that's gonna start memgraph uh, this time uh, uh, this time memgraph is not uh, uh, we didn't install uh, network x so it has errors while loading query modules but uh, that's fine uh, memgraph is here up and running it says on 7687 so that's that's great if we build uh, uh, Rust client it works. If we test Rust client it also works. Uh, as you can see, uh, queries are executed against memgraph and that's fine. 
the problem is that tests are passing, but the client still doesn't work. Uh, we'll see in the example we have to fix that as well eventually. So, uh, okay, so we have this example here. Uh, that program is also compiled. So we're going to run this, uh, but yeah, uh, let's do that just without anything else. Uh, target debug RSMG client. So that main RS file is compiled into RSMG client. Uh, if we run this, uh, that's going to fail because uh, we have uh, so uh, mg client is is compiled and uh, it's it's dynamically linked into the into the rust client uh, but since uh, like in the development that's all locally inst installed under under this folder uh that uh, dynamic library can cannot be found uh on the on the ld library path uh so so yeah, uh, in order to solve that, uh, for now we have to specify uh, this. So ld library path, and then out, uh, and, and then path to the mg client build output lib folder. In that folder, mg client is is compiled and installed. Uh, if we run this, uh, we got an error here. So it says called pool while still fetching data. So basically, that's the that's the change that uh, was introduced uh, in the recent version of MG client. We have that uh, fetching state, which was not previously there, and now a Rust client has to be updated to to manage that uh, that that state. Uh, let's put it like that. Mm, okay, but. Uh, in order to detect what actually is the problem, uh, we got we got that error on the line forty, and that's great. But if we go into the line forty, that's basically the panic uh, error here. We don't know actually uh, where is the problem. In order to figure out where is the problem, uh, we can run. Uh, GDB. We can use GDB to uh, to execute queries and to see what is going on uh, with our execution. But again, uh, with Rust, GDB is uh, usually used to debug uh, C, C++ pro programs, even though it can be used to debug uh, any, almost anything, almost any any binary. Uh, even like Pyth even like in inter interpreter stuff like Python. Uh, uh, like GDB as it, as it is, it's not. Uh, uh, I mean, it's not fully capable of debugging uh, Rust code. To do so, we have to install a Rust GDB uh, um, package. Rust GDB. I already did that, so uh, that's how uh, the 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 package is installed we have it uh, and instead of running that rsmg client directly we can put here rust gdb and then uh, the the binary uh, so i have gdb version 9.2 9 here and it has some errors here but uh, that's something from my uh, gdb init uh, basically that's all ignored i think we don't have any serious issues here we can just move on with the debugging uh and yeah uh, if i put ip here that's info break uh, uh and we don't have any breakpoints so we can start the program but uh, that's gonna that's gonna fail. So we executed the whole program, but it's failed. Uh, and we want to figure out where exactly uh, is the problem. 
in order to do so uh, let's go back here and if we go here that's like line 18 so uh, we can just put a breakpoint here under line 18 uh, uh, here uh, we have that breakpoint available uh, it's enabled and we know the address and all these things uh, so yeah uh, one more test to do uh, since uh, GDB is quite advanced uh, I'll try to just give me a second uh, to uh, to screen key to start screen key so you can see what I'm typing uh, screen key if I run screen key now you should be able my uh, yeah this is a backspace uh, for some reason screen key doesn't know the backspace but anyway uh, I'll go back to my uh, my tmux window which has GDP uh, GDB. Uh, if I press uh, Control B X, uh, if that, oh no 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 no, uh, Control V uh, Z. Sorry, Control B Z. Uh, uh, that will maximize my uh, screen, uh, my my current pane, so it's uh, in a full screen mode. So Control B is a uh, the MOOC uh, action key. If I press again Control uh, B Z, I'll get my another pane here vi visible. Uh, it's similar if I go here on the memgraph pane and Control B Z, I'll just see uh, the whole memgraph screen. Uh, okay, if I go back, no, 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 uh, no. Kill pane, no. Uh, Control B Z, okay. I go back here, control, ah, sorry, uh, control B, Z. Okay, uh, okay. Now, if, uh, if I want to run that program, I have to press run or just R. Hmm. Yeah, uh, if I press R, uh, that will run my program. Oh, <laughs> okay. And uh, now you can see uh, the line where uh, where the breakpoint is, and we are currently executing that. I mean, we'll be we'll be executing that line next. Uh, but in order to uh, uh, see the exact line with GDB, uh, we have to press Control X uh, A. So that will give us the code and the current line here available, uh, which is great. Uh, but yeah, that, that's basically that's basically it to show that uh, uh, win window window with, with the current code. Uh, so in order to toggle that window, uh, Control X A uh, has to be pressed. So let's run it again, uh, and yeah. Uh, so from now on. Uh, you will see all these uh, um, keys here under GDB. So I'll just turn off the screen key uh, to not bother us uh, anymore because it's too uh, it's too intrusive for the whole live stream. So yeah, all right. Uh, anyway, uh, if I click next, if I click N. That's that mean that that means next. Let's do like next. That will jump uh, through the code. Uh, let's do n. If I just click enter, that will repeat the previous command. So mm, I can just press enter here, and that will step through the code. Okay. Uh, query. Uh, we're gonna execute the query. Uh, here we have uh, two two instructions or something. So yeah. Uh, we're gonna print now we have the join if we print one more time hop. so yeah here we have ulm printed uh these these are just the columns uh we have uh and okay uh if i click ctrl l that will delete the the gdb output and that's fine and here 
uh, the, the, the factual command is going to fail, but uh, we can step here. Uh, uh, S is, is, is actually step. So, yeah, uh, we go under, under the fetch all method. Uh, here we initialize new uh, vector, so we can do next. We have fetch one. Uh, okay, so here, uh, let's just execute that. And the first time we actually have the, okay, we actually got the right record. Uh, and then we add that to the, to the vector, we go again, and this time uh, that's gonna fail. So the next fetch one call was uh, was wrong. And yeah, if we go next, we're gonna end up uh, yeah at the end of the the, the so the program uh, exited because ah yeah uh, so. Uh, now we we have the panic here and yeah that's that's gonna be it so the program will be will be terminated here uh yeah this is some kind of an error mm, i probably need to install something else some some other package to find these files to load the to load the source code but yeah mm, doesn't matter really uh for now so if we rerun uh, stuff. Uh, uh, okay, let's do this all again. Uh, sometimes uh, GDB can go crazy, uh, but yeah, just press Control L to uh, reload it uh, to refresh the whole the whole um, the whole view. And let's go here. So let's go here again. Uh, uh -huh. mm -hmm. uh, the whole thing went crazy, but we still see the code. If we step here, okay, uh, we now have, we are now under fetch one method and and yeah so here uh if we go next we do pool uh we do pool and that's gonna be okay for the first time uh, also so if i put break under fetch one what's gonna happen aha uh -huh. i cannot yeah, I cannot put breaks on 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 Rust functions. That's not great. Uh, that simplifies the bugging a lot, but doesn't matter. So okay, no, uh, I don't have that in the shared library. So okay, mm. okay, 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 okay. So the problem. Let's go. Uh, the problem is that the whole uh, fetch all logic so fetch one logic is a bit broken now uh, because that fetch one uh, that, that fetch one method uh, is doing a bunch of stuff so uh, on the pool side we here have uh, we are actually uh, pulling one result but uh, the problem is on the is on the MG client side because if we go so uh, the error that we got let's quit that for now the error that we got before uh, was uh, called pull while still fetching data so if we try to search that Uh, that's under mg client code, so that's actually mg client returned uh, returned that code, that error. So that's under mg client C. So if we go here, uh, will it work? No, it won't because it's ignored. Yeah. Client C. 
see, I need this file. Uh, okay, uh, this is here. And cold pool while still fetching data. So basically what happened uh, from the Rust side, uh, we called pool while the client was still in the fetching phase and uh, in the fetching state why the well because like um, mg client has the has uh, has some state and essentially the rust client state and mg client state were not in sync and we have to ensure that they are in sync uh, that whole fetching mechanism was uh, was added because of the bolt v4 so in the v4 there is uh, there is that fetching phase, which is basically your pull. You you initialize uh, the whole uh, um, data fetching by running a pull query and running pull, and you specify how much uh, records will be fetched, and with fetch one we specify one, but then uh, fetch has to be called like twice actually, uh, sometimes. Uh, so there is like a huge uh, huge uh, logic behind that uh, and yeah we have to adjust that mm. okay uh, to be sure uh, that we have that in an okay way uh -huh. I'm still in the rust oh, sorry so here we have the pool and then uh we actually run that pool next time while the client was still in the in the on, in the fetch phase in the fetch state uh to make uh, to simplify this a bit we already solved that problem in the python client so i'm going to i'm going to just quickly jump there and uh and see uh what's what's the deal actually here so here we have also fetch one method uh, which actually uh, so fetch one uh, runs runs first pool and if that's successful uh, then we came here and then we have the logic that actually fetches the data and returns that data so we have to change all that uh, we have to uh, we have to do a similar thing here uh, we have to run so the problem is that fetch uh, has to be uh, run twice uh, because first fetch will get the get the right uh, get the data and then the second fetch is used to check if uh, there is more data or to fetch uh, the summary uh, after each query if we have the last record then we have then we then we have to fetch that as well so we have to try to fetch uh, the first uh, we have to try to fetch the second one and then see what is the result uh, with that. Uh, so yeah. Uh, uh, let's let's try to uh, refactor that a bit now. So also we have to introduce that uh, fetching state in the Rust client. So. Uh, da, 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 Connection, yeah, connection. We have state uh, uh, isn't that somewhere here? Yeah, connection. Ah, status. Mm, sorry, uh, it's called status. Already executing connection. Set so fetch records. Uh, yeah, but we need to add. Uh, Executing, uh, executing. Uh, well, let's just. Let's just add that for now here, and we have to change 
status. Oh, yeah, now uh, I have to handle. Uh, handle that uh, just to check just to check how these things are visible yeah still the purple the purple uh, the purple comments are not super visible yeah I'm gonna change that with orange Actually, I can do that now. Just a second. This is a bit off topic now. Uh, but yeah. Vim. Color solarized. Color solarized. Uh -huh. But yeah, I don't know. Sorry, uh, I don't know the exact code, so let's not do that. Not do that. Okay, if status is fetching, can't set lazy while executing. Uh, let's do that. Fetching, okay, we have that. <laughs> okay, uh, execute. So in the Python code, we actually changed a uh, pool to just do pool. So if we go here, a uh, pool is just doing pool and then setting the status uh, to fetching stuff, okay. So I will do here the same. So pull. Uh, so instead of having all this here, uh, read error message, error, error, session pool. Yeah, if we go here, uh, we have and the letter return status fetching return zero okay status fetching if status is okay a result row no no no, no. Uh, we we want return will return nothing here uh, we'll do empty result if status fetch is one fetch is one um, if status is null is zero then No, sorry. Uh, uh, no, 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 no. Let pool status equals that. Now we have the pool status. Uh -huh. And the whole thing is unsafe. bindings yes uh, we have the pool and then pool status okay if it's zero uh, we're gonna return we're gonna sell dot status equals connection status fetching yeah uh, and that Otherwise, 
it's an error and we return we return okay here uh what what is wrong with this try add semicolon no 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 i no, don't need semicolon uh -huh. Uh, okay. <clears throat> and that's basically it. Uh, yeah, I have to deal with the memory, but I'll do that later on. Uh, uh, fetch status result. Yeah, we're gonna have to do that somewhere else. Uh, so, PyMG client has that. And also cursor has connection, connection fetch, connection pool. Uh, if I open this uh, view on the side, let's move it here. Connection fetch. So under connection fetch, uh, we have, yeah, we need to add the fetch stuff as well. So has more out. Uh -huh. Uh, connection fetch so we're gonna have to add the connection fetch as well uh -huh. fetch mm. yeah mutable self uh, this is returning option error okay uh, basically we need all this here all right uh, so for now bum 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 uh -huh. uh, also one more thing pool has the number of stuff <laughs> the number of stuff pool has yeah uh, rust doesn't have uh, default arguments uh, supported which means which means uh, yeah what would be the best to have here uh, <laughs> I hope uh, hmm. uh, we need that n parameter here but yeah let's just just do uh, that in stuff what's that yeah okay sixty four uh we put here n uh yeah we're gonna put that into the map uh we have to handle so n zero then just pull all if one else put n and then status yeah okay so yeah uh, only if we don't have no sorry uh -huh. if we put a zero then uh -huh. Uh -huh. Yeah, let's do it like that for now and then we'll see how that will go uh yeah uh, 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 uh. uh n equals zero then i just have to pull pull status
else we need here? Uh, status your handle error. Uh -huh. Uh, null pointer we need null pointer here so if we have zero as we did in the python code but still uh doesn't matter for now let's just get this compiled uh so we have here connection uh okay let's try to do oh uh it seems that my I lost the connection. Uh, it seems that I lost the connection. Now it should work. Uh, yeah. Okay, should be fine now. Uh, hopefully. All right. Uh, let's go back. Uh, -huh. uh, make build. Yeah. So here, uh, we are in the fetch one. So we have to put here one. Uh -huh. Now we have here a problem that we don't have a result. Result is empty. Uh, all right. Uh, uh, we have to call fetch here. If If it's okay, if it's okay, we're gonna ignore that. Uh, we don't need this. Uh -huh. If we don't have the results, we have to return so i will just comment this uh to have that for later that was here before error error so uh -huh. actually this is okay this is i think correct and in the okay case let let record equals self dot self dot fetch uh okay uh mm -hmm. we got the record if we uh -huh. some no no if record Uh, what do we return? We return option record. Uh -huh. We return option. We unpack that. So we need to do match self. If we have something here we have to return okay sum x essentially the same if we don't have anything if we don't have anything 
yeah uh self dot status equals connection status ready mm. ah sorry uh and okay none we have to return none Alright, uh, yeah, this is kinda okay. Uh, we have also pool problem here. Fetch many. all we do here zero if we do zero zero will pull all which is correct uh but yeah we have pull all uh, now we have to implement here so if we are okay uh then we, then we have to also fetch all fetch all uh, match x in case we are okay uh, in case we are okay uh, res push yeah uh -huh. uh, yeah, yeah, yeah yeah fetch Uh, 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 fetch record. Uh -huh. Fetch row summary. La 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 la. Okay. So here I have to run. Uh, fetch until it's it's exhausted. Okay. Uh. Uh, we have to pull yeah we have to move this loop inside let x equals um yeah i'm gonna i'm gonna implement uh wrong stuff here just because i have to finish soon uh, but yeah uh more or less just to get this compiled let x uh, self dot fetch fetch this uh, we have x which is option and then if no match x if x is some x if we have something we push otherwise we break from here yeah okay this is actually not that bad. Uh, match. We close the loop. And uh, that's it. Boom. Okay. Uh, block is empty. What does that mean? 7, 3. I haven't closed uh, some delimiter. 
yeah like this one uh i'm missing something here okay loop match some break error Oh yeah, this one is extra. Okay. Uh, yeah. Commit status bad executing fetching. Yeah, this is the same as executing if we are fetching yeah this is uh, uh here rust is really good because it's checking that all these options have to be covered which is really great otherwise these things would be missed uh, uh can be easily missed uh let's build it again we have the same or similar problem here yeah we'll roll back we can't hmm. <laughs> this is a bug so connection is closed rollback any pending transactions to the database returns error if there is queries that didn't finish executing yeah okay uh, this is a wrong connection is closed can't roll back uh, while executing fetching uh, not while executing why yeah, while executing while fetching uh, great I think this is gonna build now okay uh, let's go uh, no uh, test this is gonna massively fail now because just one <laughs> yeah so I've just covered uh, all these things to compile but uh, the implementation is not right yet uh, but yeah only one test fails yeah I have to massively uh, review these tests uh, can't roll back while executing yeah uh, okay yeah yeah but okay uh, okay okay more or less we are compiling uh, we f made progress towards the right direction I'll just I'll commit and push all this just to have that uh, on the server So we added fetching, we covered fetching here, fetching here, we uh, refactored the the pool stuff, we have pool implementation, we started implementing fetch, uh, we use fetch and that's it, yeah, okay. Uh, Uh, the clip is gonna hopefully work oh no uh, we have an error here oh it's actually passed hmm. that's also a bit strange yeah okay anyway we managed to commit that uh, yeah I'll check that later on and get push okay uh, let's go and see here what do we have uh, yeah, uh, maybe just a side note. Uh, uh, the the, uh, the 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 GitHub user Dan uh, did some uh, nice uh, contribution to to the 
to the RSMG client. Thank you, thank you, Darren, for that. Uh, I really, we, I really appreciate that. Uh, and yeah, uh, let's move on with this. So, port to MG client. Let's see what we have here. Yeah, that's committed. So we fix this. We have that. We have uh, version is updated. Yeah, but uh, it's far from 1.0. We'll uh, we have to get there. Uh, readme is updated. We have update here, we change this, uh, and then we have here uh, binding pool all, la, la, la. yeah, that's the, these are the changes with, that we did. Okay, uh, great. Mm. Uh, let's stop here for now, for today, yeah, I haven't, I haven't uh, managed to finish everything, but that's why we have part two. <laughs> Uh, yeah, uh, in the next phase, I'll uh, I'll try to finish this. Uh, we are not uh, far from the from the final solution, and also that's one thing. And the other thing is uh, because recently we added support for MG client on Windows and macOS. That means that also Rust MG client could be used on all three major operating systems will add support for these three as well so we'll build uh, separate packages for all these three operating systems which is i think i think great uh, to have the support for all of them uh, anyway uh, do we have any questions uh, actually no yeah uh, all right Anyway, uh, I hope you enjoyed this. Uh, please uh, share this if you like that, and subscribe if you if you like the content as well. And, and yeah, uh, have a great rest of the weekend, and see you see you next time. Bye bye.